Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. Today we've got a special treat for all you romantics out there. Get ready to fall in love with our carefully curated list of the top 10 romance anime you must watch. From heartwarming love stories to tear-jerking confessions, this list is packed with the very best in the world of romance anime. Whether you're a long-time fan or new to the genre, we've got something that'll capture your heart and leave you wanting more. So, grab your favorite snacks, get cozy, and join us as we take a whirlwind tour through the captivating world of romance in anime. Sengoku Nightblood Soft-spoken Yuzuki is suddenly taken to an other world known as Chinga after her phone emits a bright light. The odd location is reminiscent of the Sengoku period, a violent period in Japanese history marked by continuous civil conflicts that destroyed the country. The Gekazoku, tribes of non-human beings like as vampires and werewolves, coexist with humans here. This peace was maintained by Haimimiko, a woman with the ability to defend Shinga. However, the world has been thrown into disorder as a result of her strange disappearance. Yuzuki must now find Himemiko in order to return home, but the ongoing battle between the warlords only slows her down. Love is like a cocktail. Chisato Mizusawa is a composed assistant office manager who appears to despise alcohol, but she enjoys it and has a secret sign to her that only comes out when she's drunk her cute persona, which she only shows to her husband, the barman Sora. Sora takes care of his beloved wife every day when Shizada returns home, making her a tasty supper and a refreshing drink. Plum split, Irish coffee, orange breeze, and a variety of other delectable combinations are among the beverages she enthusiastically consumes. But as much as she enjoys drinking, she adores her loving spouse. They live a happy life together, with the occasional cocktail thrown in for good measure. A Sister's All You Need Itsuki Hashima is a light author who is infatuated with small sisters and writes entirely about them. Despite his outgoing nature, he has a close circle of friends, Miyuta Kani, a brilliant though twisted novelist who is madly in love with him. Haruto Fuwa, a fellow male author whose work has achieved tremendous popularity. Miyako Shirakawa, a dear friend he met in college, and Shihiro, his ideal younger stepbrother who handles housework and cooking. They like weird activities, unplanned travels, cracking goofy jokes, and celebrating each other's triumphs. However, each person must cope with their own challenges, whether it is straining to reach a deadline or dealing with painful memories buried in their past. Code Realize Cardia Beckford can recall her father Isaac and the home where she lives alone, dreaded as a monster by the townspeople, for she bears a terrible chemical in her body. The constantly beating heart, also known as horologium, embedded in her chest by her father, has the ability to produce endless power. It does, however, cause her skin to ruin anything it comes into contact with. Many people in London want the horologium, including the terrorist group Twilight, with whom Isaac is said to have intimate relations. To attain the power of the horologium, the British military compels Cardia to leave her house as a prisoner. On the trip, however, she is abducted by the gentleman thief Arsene Lupin, who promises to steal her heart. Cardia embarks on a voyage with Lupin and his companions to find the truth about Isaac's link with Twilight, her missing memories, and the horologium within her chest. The Ancient Magus Bride Chai Satori, a 15-year-old Japanese girl, was auctioned off for 5 million pounds to a tall masked male. She was willing to give herself to any bidder if it meant having a place to call home after being abandoned at an early age and mocked by her peers for her unorthodox behavior. In chains and on her way to an unknown fate, she overhears robed men discussing and moaning about how such a bidder got his hands on a rare sleigh baggie. Ignoring the murmuring, the strange guy brings the young lady to a study, where he exposes himself to be Elias Ainsworth, a magus. After a brief argument and some teleportation magic, the two awaken in Elias' gorgeous cottage in rural England. 
Chiza's narrative as the apprentice and assumed spouse of the ancient Magus begins with her arrival, when she is greeted by fairies and surrounded by strange and lovely beings. Blend S. Micah Saccharenomia, 16, longs to be self-sufficient and is desperate to find a part-time job that will allow her to study abroad. Despite her normally pleasant demeanor, her applications are consistently denied due to the frightening appearance she accidentally gives when she grins. After yet another failed interview, she stumbles onto Cafe Style, a coffee restaurant where employees engage with clients by acting out various qualities. Dino, the Italian store boss, falls in love with Micah's sweetness at first sight and hires her as a cruel waitress. She effectively serves a couple of masochistic customers in accordance with her new cruel image, despite her innate clumsiness. Micah, together with Kaho Hinata as the Tsundir and Mafu Hashikawa as the younger sister, tries to capitalize on her particular peculiarity and solidifies her place in the cafe with brutal cruelty. Children of the Whales Inside the mud whale, which endlessly soars through a sea of sand, there is a community divided into two factions, the Mark, who can use a power called Thymia at the expense of their lifespan, and the Unmarked, who are unable to wield such an ability but have regular lifespans and hold positions of authority. Chakuro, a 14-year-old with hypergraphia, is the mud whale's archivist, responsible for chronicling everything that happens on the island and other unexplored regions. Chakuro meets a wounded girl with no memory during one of his missions to investigate a faraway island. She attacks him right away, only to pass unconscious and be brought to the mud whale by Chakuro himself. The presence of the girl is cloaked in mystery, as no one has ever met a person from the outside world. Furthermore, her lack of emotions and superb combat abilities show that her life experience differs greatly from that of people inside the mud whale. The unexpected advent of the girl known as Lycos, Chekuro is about to discover what is beyond the mud whale, forever changing his destiny in the most incredible way. Just because. As another school year comes to an end, third-year high school students look forward to the next step in their lives, graduation. Mayo Natsum, a girl played by lingering sentiments, Hazuki Morikawa, a member of the performance band but estranged from the others, and Haruto Suma, an athlete obsessed with baseball, are among them. Meanwhile, second-year student Ina Komiya is determined to restore the photography club to its former grandeur, refusing to let it disintegrate. Despite the fact that this group has little in common, their lives are brought together by the arrival of a third-year transfer student. While most people would consider a transfer so close to graduation strange, Ada Izumi sees it as business as usual. Because of his father's business, he has never been able to stay in one place for an extended period of time. But as luck would have it, their most recent move has brought Ida back to his hometown for his senior year of high school. For better or worse, it also triggers the rekindling of old, dormant ties. With graduation already causing anxiety, Ida's unexpected entrance throws these students' carefree days to an end. Long buried feelings, long forgotten memories, and inspired new passions, everything comes to light in their melancholy last semester. My girlfriend is Shabich. Since his freshman year of high school, Haruka Shinazaki has had a crush on the class representative, Akiho Kaozaka. She is gorgeous, athletic, and an all-around ideal student. Shinazaki chooses to reveal his emotions because they are in the same class this year, and, to his surprise, Kuzaka agrees to be his girlfriend. However, he discovers that Kuzaka is stranger than he first imagined. This seemingly ideal girl has never been in a relationship. Despite her inexperience, she promises to fulfill Shinazaki in any way she can, including mastering different sex positions and his proclivities. Shinazaki tries to reassure her that such studies aren't necessary, but Kuzaka devotes herself to make him happy in other ways. Recovery of an MMO Junkie Moriko Morioka, 30, is unemployed for the first time since graduating from high school and she couldn't be happier. Moriko, who has been unemployed for over 11 years, 
rapidly turns to online games to pass the time, remaking herself as the attractive and dashing male hero Hayashi in the MNO Fruits Demur. She happily dives deep into the realm of the game, where she meets the gentle and adorable healer Lily. They become inseparable almost immediately after becoming friends, much as Moriko herself becomes increasingly involved in her new life as Hayashi. Moriko eventually follows the reclusive lifestyle in its completely, leaving her flat only when absolutely necessary. Meanwhile, Moriko is unaware that a shy 28-year-old corporate worker called Yuta Sakurai has logged onto Fruits Demur from the opposite side of town. When they happen to run into one other at the convenience store one night, they dismiss their experience as nothing more than another unpleasant contact with a stranger, but fate has more in store for them than they realize. So these were the top 10 romance anime you must watch in 2023. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any videos like this in the future. I'll see you in the next one.